Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Forever Game Podcast. In today, we're going to give a little update, or at least Jamie's going to give a little update on one of our top marketing strategies for 2020, which was, of course, the micro influencer strategy. A micro influencer strategy. Yep. So, what? What's the last thing? Where did I leave off with this whole idea? I talked about making what I was doing, kind of right with Talking Water. So I was. Yeah. I was building out this program and like working through the logistics of how we could start utilizing local influencers in our um in our area that were big fans of us i mean i wouldn't say well let's let's back it up just a little bit because i don't know i can't remember what i've all shared but we'll just do a little overview we were (laughs) we were sitting in this very room (laughs) talking about okay i think i want to launch this program I want to just share this side of it. Oh, okay. I want to launch yes. this program, this influencer program. I want I want people to submit, like apply to be a part of it. And I think we should do this really cool video because it's all about, you know, how our beer can be brought on adventures and that's part of our brand. And we want, you know, to find people that yep. align. Right. And I was like, Tyler, how can we launch this in a way that like shows all of the ways that people could, you know, be out snowboarding or be. Oh, yes. Okay. No, you had no idea where I was going. I was just nodding and sort (laughs) of paying attention. Yep. Now I, now I remember. remember. I was like, let's take it. Let's go fishing. Let's, um, you were like, we could do it. Ice. We could do the hockey rink thing. Which I would look ridiculous on ice skates. I know. Which I is, am god awful. Which is why we, when we finally get to like the ping pong <laughs> thing, and you probably oh, I'm, are, I crush you at ping pong. Yeah, you'll easily. obliterate me because I've just never played ping pong. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll just crush me, and then I'll be like, "All right, next." Like <laughs> Let's when go my, play hockey. yeah, when like you know I'm completely emasculated. Let's go play hockey. It won't even be. F- it will be fun. I was gonna say it won't even be fun. How bad you'll be? Yeah, I'll just make you play goalie. And oh my gosh, yeah. I just don't want to lose my teeth. Oh, well, we'll put a helmet on you. <laughs> Got to protect your money, Mako. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. So we were talking about all the cool things that would because highlight. L- let me, let me, f- let me put this in normal person talk, not mm. in J. So we've worked long enough together that I know how your brain works. Uh huh. So you <laughs> wanted to create this campaign to market to potential influencers, to get mm-hmm. them to ask you because you don't like going in for the ask. Uh-uh. It's your most hated thing because you lose leverage. You have yeah. to be somewhat vulnerable. Yeah. And if you were to ask from you, you'd be like, God, I hate being in, I hate being vulnerable. Like I want them to ask me because then I can be like, mm, I guess you'll do. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. I was just being insecure about it, I think. And so I don't we know. were like, we we're like, oh, we're going to make this And awesome. I was making it way more work than it needed to be. Yeah, we're going to make too. this awesome video. It's going to take us like three months. <laughs> and... And we're going to... Well, I was not going to let it take us three months. <laughs> I needed it like next week. Right. And uh, eventually we did... No, uh, so you asked me, you're like, well, do you have people in mind that you oh, think yeah. would make good influencers? I was like, what's your goal with the video? And you're I like, was like, oh, well, we just need like five to 10, you know, people. And I've got a list. I like pulled out, pulled the list out of my oh, backpack. Right. I've got the people with the handles. These are the people I want. <laughs> like I'd done all the research yeah. and we talked about it plenty at the brewery. But of course, in my head, I was like, but I don't know. Like, there, How do I, I attract them? How do I you get wa- them? You wanted yeah. to use my yeah. dating strategy That's that I give to my was. high school boys. I say, you walk up to the group of girls that are all talking. Mm-hmm. There's the one that you want to date. And you say hi and something nice to all of them except for her. Because <laughs> then she'll be like, Whoa. especially if she's like the pretty one in the group. She'll be like, why? You didn't even look at me. <laughs> hmm, I'm interested. That's the game you wanted to play. Yeah, I you guess wanted to so. play, like, put out all this cool stuff. Oh, you guys are so awesome! Can we please be? You know, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. what you wanted. But in fact, we just suggest, or I just suggested. Well, you got your list. You I got, know, like, and I was on like, there. why don't you just ask them all? Should I just message them, or what do you think? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and so, oh, and then you started typing up some like long oh, plan. Yeah. Remember, you're like this long thing. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was like you couldn't ask, right? You could not write the question. I was like, well, I have to, I have, then I'm going to write it out, what I'm going to say, and whatever, and we're going to, everybody's going to get the same message. Yeah, and I was like, that is ridiculous. There's 20 of them. Sit down right now and message all of them individually. And so it was probably an hour later <laughs> where I had already, like I'd messaged them and we, I, I told you, I'm like, Five people already said yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah. 
<laughs> I couldn't believe it. But anyways, the, the long story short is like, the people are there. Right. Your, your influencers, your amb- there we call them our ambassadors, but your ambassadors of your brand are there. They're watching you. They're following you. They're excited. They're ready to cheer you on. It just takes the courage to ask, which and is if, really not that freaking hard. I don't. If you only have 89 Facebook followers, like, <laughs> you know, you still have a few out there. We know who our 1017 groupies are. <laughs> oh, yeah, we we know who our the Forever Game groupies are. We yeah, know them. Yeah. We should ask them. We should. What should we ask them? I don't know what we're going to give them. You have some mints. You have lots of lip balm. <laughs> well, to I have season. A, I have some bottles of wine we could give them. Yeah. Right? We do need to do something with that wine. And then they could. we could be like, hey, you should listen to I it. have an idea. Okay. Live podcast recording. I've always wanted to do this. We should invite them to a TFG party. We've got we plenty do of seats for all of our listeners here. We can move it out. Well, yeah. I mean, we've got four seats. We're fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because we need like two more chairs. Yes. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Yeah, back we on should. Track. We should do. We a, should, that would be fun, wouldn't that's it? That's great. We ha- we could have wine and. Oh, Angie probably texted me. That's my wife. <laughs> we were talking about. Oh, our live podcast. Yes, idea the live podcast. I just think that would be fun. And I was also thinking about ways to just kind of amp things up and change it up too. We need to spice it up a little bit. We need some spice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 37 times. It's uh, getting a little old. <laughs> you know. Yeah. You've been married for how long? <laughs> it's true. 10 years. <laughs> Got to spicy things up. So okay. what we'll do naturally is add more people in booze, which is the same, <laughs> the same solution. Okay, we'll add some live people. That and, seems logical. Yeah, we'll add some live people. And um, yeah, we. you know what? We're going to do this. I have the wine. We'll get some more booze and we'll do a little live podcast thing. Maybe we'll have a series of guests on. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. I think that sounds amazing. It sounds so much fun. Okay, deal. Well, more fun than just you. Yeah, that's that's true. Well, I try real hard. (laughs) I know you do. I have all the equipment. Um, (laughs) Anyway, so how is you're now a few weeks into this thing? Yeah, so... How did everyone respond? Were they like, yes, thank you. Like, yes, I want to do this. Or were they like, here are my terms. No, no. But I mean, and that's the best part about this whole micro-influencing thing is they, I don't think they were really expecting, other than one guy, nobody else has done like any, um, what would you call it? Like Ambassador programs. Ambassador stuff. Influencer programs. Yeah. Um, and he, even he was like, yeah, I don't, I've done it before. Like whatever, I'm, I would be happy to. Sure. But everybody basically responded with like a hell yeah or you know that sounds awesome what else like Like, what more what do i need to know and so then i'd send them like the link to the web page that i had built and with all the details on it which really wasn't that complicated sure because i wanted to keep it simple yeah and so and it's something that's super scalable mm -hmm, for sure yes so that's from there it was basically like they they got the link they filled out their little application with more details Mm -hmm. um so that we could understand them a little bit better i guess didn't i go and test that link and put in some interesting answers for you yeah and nick and phil died did they enjoy that oh yeah okay good they have a similar sense of humor too (laughs) okay good of course i think i hang out with the same type of people you do um but yeah so from there then it was a matter of okay well let's i'm gonna think we're planning out our first shipment. What do we want to give them? What do we want to send like them? Like a little gift package thing. And then they're, yeah. supposed, to, they're supposed to talk. Uh, like those are not only gifts, but also the props for their content. Yeah. 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 So we figured out how much, you know, product we wanted to send. What was it going to cost? Like the backside budgeting yeah. for, per month. And they got their first boxes this past weekend. Okay. Probably Saturday because I mailed them out Friday morning. Got it. And... If we've already seen posts from three of them, which has been the best part of everything. So Jamie was just sitting over there <laughs> and she's like, oh my gosh, this guy just posted this thing. And I listened, I was listening to the audio while you were watching it. And you guys should have seen, like you should have seen her, like she was exuding like this. Like, <laughs> like it was, it was, I compared it to like watching videos of my kids. I never I'm, really get overly hyped up when though, you like, but you could tell that I was Oh happy. yes, I could. And, you know, like when I stumble upon like an old video, I'm like, oh, and I like want to show someone, they don't care nearly as much as I do, obviously. Yeah. And you're like, oh my gosh. 
Oh, he just made this video. It's just. <laughs> okay, so this is this guy. He does this thing. And, it, <laughs> and yeah, that's. And you, you birthed that in a way. Yeah. Right? I think so. Yeah. I think it's just been cool because we've been talking about it forever. Not forever, but for a and while. It's happening. And it's finally like, yeah, these people are excited to actually do content creation right. and. Um, I don't have to do it. Yes. I can just share it. And I just get excited about, okay, who else is seeing this now? Right. Because they have sig- pretty decent followings and like, yeah. and in different parts, like some are from is that more central Minnesota, okay. some are from, I don't know if there's any in the Wilmer area other than myself. I don't know. Yep. Uh, some are from near my I have video. 168 Instagram followers. Does that help you? <laughs> you can. At, I t- give at Tyler Gurking, that's T Y L E R G E H R K I N G. Somewhere from the cities, so okay. It's like a, it's an exciting proximity too, with different, different followers, different reasons for them to post. But it's fun. You're yeah. having like you. It's I been, could see it's you. It's already so fun. Yeah, I'm pumped about it. Right, and it's only just beginning. So. And if you think about the cost of that versus if you were to produce that content yourself, you know, it's probably close to the same or a little less but less. um well with my rate yes no. with your, your rate. she's expensive let me tell you and not just cost just like oh anyway, just headaches yeah just the mental pain that i go emotional abuse really um but like there is some cost savings potentially there mm-hmm. right because these people are micro influencers. They're not overcharging like the big influencers are. So you can get away with a little less cost, but you are like scaling your time. You can produce this stuff and you're reaching new audiences without having to promote posts at their audience. You would have to make the content and pay to promote it to those to either that geographic region or those people. Yes. Yeah, males, this age, whatever it might it's be. It's a win for everybody. Totally. Totally. And it's just like things that, I mean, People have such different takes on creativity that yes. it's fun to see what this idea for this beer, what what that spurred for them versus somebody else. And right. And you're a little bit judgmental of content because um, I know because I produce some of it and you're like, mm. like, you can't, like that text is too big. I, I will have finished like an 11 minute video with like hours. She's like, oh yeah, well that text is too big. But other than that... <laughs> It's fine. Not the How are we you going to know if I don't but, tell you? But I am, I am very much like critical. Of, which is good. And that's I why I like, like a it. Critical eye. But maybe. Although I produce, I produce labels that have misspellings in them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Only like 1,200 of them. Scour nail. <laughs> scour Hashtag nail. Scour Be nail. on the lookout for that scour nail. Collector item. <laughs> yep. Collector item. Find those labels. Save them. But anyway, I, my point was just that. Now you have multiple flavors being produced by people that already have a following that already mm-hmm. like their stuff and that maybe you naturally wouldn't have found through your own style. Yeah, absolutely not. So I'm, it's going to be cool. I'm excited that we've, it's underway and right. we can see where the thing about it, obviously I can't report back on the measurables or the analytics yet, sure. but this is a long-term game. Though. This is definitely a long game. I mean, it's an investment, but yeah. we could pay to put a, freaking like $500 ad half page or quarter page ad in the growler magazine and try and attract people. You know what I mean? Like your money more expensive than that. I would guess. Yeah. Well, I mean a full page ads like a thousand to two grand, Ugh. but there are so many opportunities for you to spend your money, your advertising dollars. And when you think about it, it's like, this is, this is so makes so much sense. Yeah. And it's scalable. You can quit anytime you want. I mean, you can adjust. It's yeah. the wild, wild west right now. Yeah. And why not take advantage of it? I agree. In the best way. I'm not trying, you know. Uh, yep. I don't want that to be taken um, the wrong way. No, not for me. So let me ask you a random question. Yeah. If you could pick, this would have to be non-beer, but if you could pick some, like a company to reach out to you, your dream company to reach out to you for you to be a micro-influencer, like what industry, what company would it be? To be a micro influencer. Yeah, they're like, hey, your dream company, you pick up the phone or you check your DMs, and this company has left a message for you to say, hey, will you be uh, an ambassador or a micro influencer for us? What company would that be? 
Patagonia or okay. like REI. Got it. Another one would be like Lulu. This would be easier. Come on, Lululemon. Yeah. Like I wear your stuff. Right. I work out. I I probably wouldn't apply for that. Their stuff is so nice, but so expensive. Okay, got it. But anyways, so like any workout gear I'd be stoked about. But Patagonia would be fun. Deal. That would require me to travel more than I do, I think. Yeah, or Maybe just do not. some really good Photoshopping. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that in Minnesota. Go, you're, you're not going to like climb the Matterhorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know what that is. I hope that's a thing. I hope what I didn't did you just, just make up? I think I maybe made that up. Is I'm that like, a mountain? Yeah. Is that a mountain? I don't know. Can you Google that quick? As a I, Matterhorn? Yeah. I think that's a mountain. Um, but anyway, since you asked me, the one I would like to reach well, out to I'm, me. It is. is a mountain in the Alps. Okay, good. Straddling the main watershed and border between Switzerland. Why did you say straddling like that? <laughs> I don't know. It, it's a very interesting word choice to just plop in there. Okay. Grow up, Jamie. <laughs> This is embarrassing. Rick, I apologize. I apologize for this. Um, Dad says he's behind on my episodes anyway. <laughs> okay, good. Well, you know, in a few months when you listen to this, um, I apologize. So anyway, the company, the companies that I would love if they reach out to me. Go- oh, golf. Okay. Sorry. Golf. Sure. That's a good one that both of us <laughs> could like, right? Yeah. Um, Seattle Cider. Seattle Cider would be a good one. I feel like I already do it like they already should. I have 168 followers. <laughs> you look at me like so serious. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't buy that. That is a cultivated audience. <laughs> okay. What anyway, were you actually gonna say? I was gonna say my top two, and maybe these are too big, but would be Apple and Buffalo Wild Wings. Those two. Those are great ones for you. Yeah. I can't believe Apple hasn't already. No kidding. <laughs> Uh, you really have a lot of can Apple I, products. In you know, fact just let's start straight facts here. What? There's like ten sitting in this room. Oh Apple yes, products. of all the Apple products, yes. Of all of the people in the state of Minnesota that uh, maybe not the state, in Wilmer, Minnesota. You're for going sure. back to your LinkedIn followers. No, 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 oh. no, no. Um Lyle and myself and like Dave Baker and a couple other people, we got we got our school district to Have spend a million dollars on iPads, not once, not twice, but three times. And then add to the fact that I've had like countless number of of devices like this, mm-hmm. right? Um, I feel like I've earned micro influencer status with them, and and they should they should reach out. They re- I think it would just be respectful um you know if if their ceo just reached out to me just casually CEO. yep tim cook give me a ring i was gonna say name their ceo yeah you knew it of course i wouldn't have really tim okay cook. anyway well micro influencers um it's a strategy you should look at yes and i think start it's a, small i mean mm-hmm. see what happens experiment and if you're an obsessive person about a brand and you have here's some like tactical advice i could give someone okay you want to become a micro influencer the easiest place is to do it would probably be tiktok and linkedin build a good following think about the company you want to be a micro influencer for you're not going to get rich doing this right no but you know but products that you love and enjoy every exactly day. you could work out some sort of sweet deal like jump on tiktok and you could because you can build a following quickly mm-hmm. right Build a following and then pitch the local company or the regional company or the big company that, hey, I, I would like to do this for you. Can we talk? You never know. Yeah. And then report back. Yeah. I to us. want it in this episode you, so I can reach out. Are you going to send a message to Tim Cook now? Um, I have sent several. He's not responded, but I'm sure it's in his queue. Uh, but I've never thought about, I should reach out to B-dubs on LinkedIn. I feel like that's not a strong connection, but I'm going to try it. Well, and I think that'll warrant our idea to do the wing challenge. Case, the wing challenge. You know what I was thinking we could do for you? What? Damn it, I forgot it. I ha- Oh, it was like a coffee challenge for you. Okay. Because those are portable. Yep. And yep. we could bring them back and you could try to name the place that you got it from. Um, or you could order them in the ones that you like the most from the least. 
I'm yeah. trying to think of a way we can do this without offending people. I know. That's what I was just thinking, but I think I could pick them all out, the sure. local spots. I know I could do the wings probably. And just a little precursor is that in a disclaimer, I like all of them. Like, I know. I've, you've asked me before. Like, you sent me like, you a have quick zero quiz. standards with wings or something, though. Y- you know, <laughs> I could go back to like college and girl rules, but any wing is better than no wing. You know what I mean? <laughs> and not the same thing for me with coffee. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You have higher standards. Yeah. I, I would rather drink hot water than shitty coffee. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Um, and sometimes shitty coffee does taste like hot water. That's true. Coffee tea. Right. As I like to call it. At any point in my life, when I'm not eating wings, I'd rather be eating wings. <laughs> no matter okay. what I'm doing, you can look at me and know for a fact. I know. If someone walked in with some wings, you're like, Gherkin, you want some wings? I'm like, yes. I'm yep. going to eat them now. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bring, bring them over. It wouldn't even be like, oh, hey, where'd you get them? I'd be like, yes, give me a bite, you know? <laughs> but not, you would prefer, would you prefer if they're all um, actual, I don't know what the terms, like the wing versus the drummy? Like them all. Some people prefer, like I've had some friends that we share wings with. I hate sharing my wings. <laughs> my wife knows and we order wings. Like, okay, is it okay? We got two pounds. Can I have a few? And I'm like, I'm like the, like the lion, like, you know, like, okay. And I tolerate her digging in. And some people will just pick out the drummies because they don't like, they don't like the, whatever the other part is, like the section with the two bones. Yeah. I I get all up in there. Doesn't bother me. I can't wait to do our wing video. Mm -hmm. It's going to have to be soon. And I am not allowed to use a napkin (laughs) until the end. Is that okay? That's okay. Okay, Because that's, I think that's Micah's policy too. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, why am I going to wipe? I'm not done eating it. Why do I even wipe my mouth? Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> all right, everyone. Um, micro influencers. It's a thing. Give it a shot. Mm-hmm. You can do it. <laughs>